I'm going to one take this because I don't want to have to cut this at all. This is going to be completely raw. My son in the background talking. I got to do what I got to do. All right. I want to start this video off by saying, yes, I am selling everything for $5. If you have ever wanted to support me beyond just watching these videos because I do 100% appreciate all of y'all who do watch these videos. But if you've ever watched these videos and I helped you out, inspired you in any way and you wanted to support beyond that, but you just didn't have the funds to do so, right now is the time to do it. All right. <laughs> Every season or so, I like to set my entire digital store on sale for $5 and sell everything for just five bucks. It gives y'all an opportunity to get the products and it also gives y'all an opportunity to support for the people who do want to do so. So products that were $30, now $5, $20, now $5. It doesn't matter what the price is. Everything in the store is five bucks. Transitions, LUTs, guides, kits, it's all kinds of stuff in the store. So go check it out. It's going to be a link down in the description. Also just dropped a brand new grunge transitions pack a couple months ago, probably a month ago right now, five bucks. So if you wanted it, get it now on discount. All right. You good? You good? All right. <laughs> all right, man. I, I debated on the title for this video because I didn't know if I wanted this to stay up or if I was just going to delete it after the sale on the store was up. By the way, the sale is going to be going all week. But I debated on the title for this and if I wanted to keep it because I never really do personal update type videos on the channel anymore. It's just not really my vibe. I've always felt like if I wanted to change something or if I had something meaningful to tell y'all, I could just reflect it in the content and you'll get it that way. But I got some things I'm going through right now that I kind of just want to talk about. And uh, I'll probably delete this video in a little while. So if you watch it, you do check it out. It'll be, I guess, a benefit to you. Not a benefit. It'll be uh, a treat to you, I guess. <laughs> All right. So first things first. Women are some of the most remarkable beings on the planet, and they go through so freaking much. They always hormonal, they bleed one week out of every single month, and they have children. <laughs> and when they have children, their body has to do a lot of reconstructing to even build a child in a safe way. And a lot of women don't even get to have kids. But in that process of creating a child, and the organs go in different ways to make room for the baby. The baby, after it's born, the organs have to go back into the space where they originally were. And for a lot of women, that just doesn't happen. Um, and that's currently what my wife has go been going through. If y'all don't know, I never really talk about my personal life anymore. But I have two sons, both by uh, my wife. <laughs> and um, she has prolapse or she had prolapse and it's different types of prolapse you can look it up if you want to you probably don't want to if you're a man because the whole concept is just insane but essentially what it is is like your organs are in places that they aren't supposed to be and for her um you know her bladder was just kind of all screwed up from having kids and that's something that she had to to, to to get fixed in a surgery and that's just what she recently went through um, it's an extensive surgery. It's not super long, but the process of it and the things that they do are just insane. Imagine somebody having to like tie your organs to another part of your body to make sure they aren't hanging or, you know, being where they aren't supposed to be. That's essentially what she just had to go through. So, um, she's good. Everything is great. Um, she's in recovery right now. But what that means for me is that I'm the primary parent and I'm doing all the stuff that I am just so blessed and fortunate to have her do all the time as the primary parent now. And the turn is just affecting me in a way where I can't really be super out there creatively. I'm not finna see nothing super creative where I'm out doing all these different things and um, putting in weeks and time into videos because I'm the primary parent. That means I got this little guy over here. I'm watching over him. He's in the background. And uh, that's just what it's gonna be for like the next eight weeks or so. And it's good in terms of being around the family, but creatively, it just kind of sucks, you know, because I got to kind of tend to this. So a good thing about it is that you guys probably will see me more. The bad thing about it is that the videos won't be as large as they once were um, just over the next couple of weeks or so. She'll be back in a couple of weeks and she'll be able to do her thing. But uh, right now, this is just what it is. So, you know, if y'all see me in the next couple of weeks, the videos aren't up to par in terms of creative content. Uh, just know that uh, I'm just trying to be on the scene. I'm trying to stay active, and this is what I got to do it. Uh, this is the way that I have to do it. All right. <laughs> so that's that. My wife is good, though. Y'all ain't got to worry about her. Um, she's in recovery, and we're going to be back. So 
The next thing I want to talk about is uh, money. <laughs> money is um, a very interesting thing for me. And I was just thinking about this concept recently over the past, you know, a couple of days or so where I've been questioning myself like if this kid back here, if I made enough money that I didn't have to continue to work or do the videos or the content that I'm currently doing, would I still continue to do it? And I think that this is a realistic question that all of us creative people should have with ourselves because it's very easy for us to get caught up in what we're doing and thinking that we love it. When in reality, when it becomes your sole means to provide a living for you and your family, um, the lines can get blurred. You know, you can think that you love it and this is what you would rather be doing for your entire life. But if you sit down and actually have this question, this conversation with yourself, you might be thinking different about it. And for me, I just recently had this conversation with myself like, okay, if I made enough money that I never had to work again in my life, would I still continue to be doing these sorts of videos or creating video content in general? And this concept right here is very relative to one of the biggest reasons why I seldomly call myself a filmmaker. I try to really never really call myself a filmmaker. Even though I do through these videos and I title them around the filmmaking aspect, I don't really make films because I don't have an interest in making films. And films are just not my passion. I enjoy watching them, but I look at myself more as a person who creates creative pieces just for the internet and puts them out in whatever means that I find. Um, you know, fulfilling for me. That could be music videos, that can be short commercial pieces, that can be me telling stories about my life on YouTube and creating a behind the scenes about it, you know? So I don't really make films and I don't have an interest in making films, but if I had enough money, would I continue to make these videos that I'm currently making? And this is a tricky one for me because I really don't know. I think that if I did have enough money where I didn't have to work again in my life, I would continue to still do videos creatively. I just don't believe that these are the types of videos that I would do. I think that the filmmaking space on YouTube for me personally is something that I've been so embedded in since I've started this YouTube channel that I've kind of just become uh, intertwined into it. I don't really love it. <laughs> and that's because I don't really have an interest in making films. I still love the creative process. I still love cameras. I still love getting creative shots and lighting and all that sort of stuff like that. But if I had enough money, I probably wouldn't be making these types of videos. I'll be still utilizing my skill set that I've learned from this filmmaking space because I do love the process of it. But it wouldn't be about filmmaking. I think the topic of filmmaking just isn't as interesting as it once was to me. So what does that mean in the future for me and my content? I really don't know. I think that I've gotten to a space where like I want to utilize the skills that I've learned from this, but I want to utilize it in a different type of video. So if I didn't have to make money, I would probably be making a different type of video. It would probably be along the lines of tech or something lifestyle, something, you know, that interests me on a regular basis. Um, so that's just a thought for me. Maybe I should try to shift my content in that way. And I mean, honestly, a lot of my content hasn't really been filmmaking centric anyways. It's just been me showing my process of making the thing. Yes, it's filmmaking in that sense, but it's not really about the process of creating films. I don't know. That's just a thought for me. You know, if you didn't have to make money, would you still make these videos? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, tech technology. I'm very into technology, um, and it doesn't really come across in these YouTube videos or just in my general life as a whole because I don't really buy a lot of tech. It's weird because I find myself being sort of a minimalist, but I'm super interested in technology, and I watch all sorts of technology videos online, and it makes me think I kind of want to get into tech a little bit. So in the near future, if you guys see some technology-based videos... Just know that it's just me exploring. What you need? What's wrong? Come here. <sighs> All right, man, my life is crazy. Do not have kids. Okay, um, where was I? I was talking about tech a little bit. Um, Patreon. I wanna bring my Patreon back. It was a handful of people who were in my Patreon when I had it available. It was very in-depth behind the scenes content on my patreon and i want to bring it back i want it to be more centric to my money making plays though that's something that i'm super interested in right now and i'm also working on like this secret project 
where I'm trying to build, I don't want to say a business, but I'm trying to build an income source from the ground up that does not have anything to do with my current social following at all. So I, I have this thing that I'm trying to start, that I'm, that I'm starting right now, and I'm building it up, and I want to take people through the process of creating something from the ground up. It's, it's kind of hard to, I guess, be empathetic, or I don't even know if that's the word. It's kind of hard for people to see the, uh, the possibility of doing something from somebody who's already so high up the totem. And I'm talking about myself in this aspect. For me to be able to explain how to make money to somebody who does not have any sort of social following, it seems very out of reach for them because they're like, oh, of course you can do this. Of course you can, you know, make money off of a social platform. Of course you can do this and that because you already have the followers. So for me right now, I'm trying to start something from the ground up that has absolutely no attachment to my personal name or my brand at all. And I'm trying to build it up into a stable source of income. And... Once this gets to a space where I want it to be, I'm going to bring my Patreon back. And it won't just solely be about that. It'll be behind the scenes of me making creative projects. It'll be money plays that I'm currently doing. It'll be me talking about sponsorship opportunities that I have. It'll be me talking about upcoming projects. It'll be me breaking down the process uh, or the business as the business model of being, a, a, I guess, a social media influence. I freaking hate saying that. But that's realistically what I am and what I do. I am an influence. And no matter how I spin it, no matter how I try to say a different word, that's what I do. I influence people to do things, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, and um, it's been that way for a while. You know, I kind of graduated from freelancing music video content. Even though I create music videos still from time to time, I still a passion of mine. I still love music. That's not my primary income source anymore. So I can't really say that I'm a music video director anymore, even though I do direct music videos. I'm really just an influencer. I'm a person who has a social platform and uses it for advertisements to different businesses and companies and brands. And I want to take y'all through the process of that. And um, it'll also be some creative behind the scenes content on there as well. I'm just talking a lot. It'll be a very significant updated video about that once that's back into the works. But I just wanted to kind of spark that idea in y'all mind. So this is currently what I'm doing right now, what I'm going through, how my life is. Things are great, you know. I just got to be down for a couple weeks, be primary parent to this little guy, my other son. Um, but things will flow. So that's that, man. Let me know down in the comment section. Um, if you didn't have to make a dime from doing creative work, do you realistically think that you will still be doing it? Because I think that that's such an interesting topic and an interesting conversation to have with yourself. Um, again, $5 sell right now, all digital products and assets on my creative store, my digital store. Uh, it's a great opportunity to buy whatever you've been wanting to buy. If you need transitions, buy them now. If you need LUTs, buy them now. If you need kits, buy them now. All of this stuff right now is on sale for five bucks and it'll be until the end of the week. It's only five dollars. I know you got five dollars in your pocket. You probably gonna go to Starbucks in a couple minutes and buy you a little coffee. Get you some assets that's gonna spice up your next edit and stop playing. I right? <laughs> but that's that. I'm out. Um, I'm going to see you on the next upload. I got a couple uh, small rig videos coming to this channel in the next couple of days, probably tomorrow, talking about um, their free blazer carbon fiber uh, counterbalance tripod and then also the new VB212 battery. So be on the lookout for that. And we also got some other content coming to the channel soon. But don't expect a lot because this is my life right now. You know what I mean? I ain't on a plane. I ain't doing all this craziness. But still going to be some dope content. So make sure y'all check it out. Appreciate all y'all. I'm out. Then yeah, peace.